Yeah. <gasps> Baba Booey. Oh yeah, I had something I wanted to tell you. Bye. Bye. So you know, I, you know how we like reality on the show. Bye. So I'm about to provide you with an unlimited source of comedy for the coming years. All right. I have a big announcement. Go ahead. Oh. Uh, Mrs. Bowie and I are going to have a baby Bowie. Oh. 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 Man, I told you Howard he was working on this. <laughs> oh man, you're kidding. That's more pressure from me. I, knew I that. told you, and he kept lying and said, "No, no, no. There's lots of time." <laughs> I Gary, knew this is what they were doing. Wait a second. Let me think this through. You got your wife pregnant. Wait a second. I haven't even thought it through. How yet. pregnant is she? Uh, three months. Three months. Oh, you waited the first right. three months. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone knew knows. Three months today. I knew it all oh, that time. The first time I got my wife pregnant, I announced it uh, the day I got her pregnant. And then it didn't work and out. And then it didn't work out. My wife was crying the whole time. Why did you tell everyone if I get pregnant again, you have to wait three or four months? I was just like, would you mellow out? Pretty soon it'll be nine months. If you have another baby, you have to wait the whole nine months. Uh, right. Oh, no more babies for me. <laughs> I can't wait to see Baba Booey in about oh. a year when he can't even go out. He won't be able. No, he won't be able to get up for work. He'll continue yeah. to go well, out. Well, yeah. we'll miss so him. Of course, of course, yeah. We'll... And then his wife starts yelling at him. How come you can go out and I can't? You have to stay here with me. Yeah. I want you spending time with us. I can't wait to see you. Like, hey, congratulations! <laughs> oh, yeah. Congratulations, douche! A baby Booey. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be great. <laughs> <laughs> and that's great. Papa uh, father. God. You won't even be watching hockey Papa games on TV, dude. You wait and see. You'll be nervous. Oh, I know. I mean, I know, what, I know what's going on. Wait till your record collection and everything. Oh, wait, all your anal retentive stuff. And then they oh, go, yeah. forget about oh. it. No more record listening. None of that stuff. Start saving for dentist bills. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Let's hope the baby looks oh, like Mary. Oh, maybe he'll have just Mary. one big tooth. <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh, huggy. What, right, what, if, what if the kid has your teeth? Then the kid's going to uh, get braces. <laughs> right. Either that or maybe you can get him knocked out of birth and new ones put in immediately. Well, what's he going to do? Let's say I leave uh, radio in a year. I hope Mary has a good, good, good job. <laughs> Think the kid will come out lips first? <laughs> oh, man. Well, they better deliver the lips. Don't you deliver the biggest part first? Yeah. <laughs> Usually that's traditional. You try to get the biggest part through that's first. Right. And you put that plunger right on him. No kidding, man. So what are you going to do? What, seriously, what are you going to do? <laughs> Now you're gonna have to. Now you're gonna have to. Like, was okay. You and Mary, if you ever broke up, it would have been fine because she could have gone off and done her thing. You would have done it. Now you're gonna have to support a kid. Sure. You're gonna be able to. Yeah, I think so. All right. Well, his father did it with an ice cream truck. So. My father supported three kids with an ice cream truck. <laughs> yeah, but the ice cream business isn't what it used to be. <laughs> True. That's right. No, seriously. What if I leave? Are you gonna be all right? I I think I will be. You will be. Yeah. All right. I don't think I'll be as. I don't think I'll ever be as happy. As I am now. <laughs> oh, so you'll be a good father. <laughs> yeah, right. You'll be a miserable Fire, guy. So you'll be a good father. What will you do? Do you think that you'll do something in show business? Oh, or? I think so, yeah. yeah. What, what would that be? I he haven't... will be selling shirts at Madison Square Garden. <laughs> <laughs> That's show business. With the papoose. Is that show business? Hey, Jay Leno, is that show business? Yeah, it's show business, Al. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Yes, yeah, so well, you're going to uh, have a little baby, eh? Congratulations, uh, Bowie. Thank you, sir. Baba bastard. <laughs> so, so sleepy. What happened? You were having trouble getting her pregnant? Or? No, not no. at all. None? No trouble at all. First first try. Yeah. Did you? T so obviously you told her. So everyone. you two sat there with the pregnancy yeah. test thing yeah. and the yeah. whole yeah. thing? Wow. We went out one night. We came home and... and uh, you know, you did that thing, you go to the bathroom on the stick. Right. <laughs> yeah, that's and then, always fun. And then I, I was reading the directions. By the time I finished reading the directions, which took about you 30 seconds, we were pregnant. Oh, is that right? Yeah. So what happened? Your wife said it was okay now for you to tell everyone in the radio. Well, we, deci we decided that, you know, we figured once we told you guys, I didn't want to tell you off the air. Right. Cause, and, and once you tell it on the air, everyone knows. So we just decided to wait. Very good. Well, that's really great. Congratulations, uh, Gary. I hope the kid is not black. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Jay, your material is really changing. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm the new Jay. I know you told me get I have a tiger, so uh, this right. is what I'm working Yeah, you're getting a little more rambunctious. <laughs> the new Blue Jay. All right. Blue Jay. Blue Jay. <laughs> Hope the kids don't come out black. Remember, uh, you're gone all day. <laughs> That's true. That's true. Uh, Maybe the kid will look like Branford or something. <laughs> <laughs> now, that would be interesting. You know, I'll tell you something. I like to bang uh, his wife myself. Is that right? <laughs> Jay. Really, Jay? Yeah, the new Blue Jay, everybody. <laughs> Blue Jay. You're a little more outrageous than you used That's to be. Right, outrageous. We have a great show this evening. You know, the uh, Mavis is old news, by the way. <laughs> right. <laughs> Very good. So Very now good. you're ready for Mrs. Bowie to blow up? <laughs> yes, I am. Yeah. Has she got a little belly on her yet? Little belly, breasts a little bigger. <laughs> that was great. Yeah. Good luck, man. Congratulations, I mean. I could give that uh, skinny winter roll she'd remember. Uh. <laughs> there you go, Jay. Oh, you're not going to sure. do... Uh, what? Go ahead, Jay. What? I was just... Uh, 
<laughs> oh, yeah, nothing else to say. No, I don't nothing else to say. Nothing important. So you know what it is? Did you get amniocentesis? No, 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 we didn't get amniocentesis. You're not going to do any of that? No, we we're not going to know what it is. She's young enough, your wife, that you yeah. probably won't have a retard. Uh, well, oh. Wait a minute. What? You know, usually that's just because of uh, the age of the mother, but what happens when the father's a retard? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, maybe they better have amniocentesis. <laughs> Hey, I wonder if your boy will go to the same college you go to. Wow. Hey, you. Delphi. Hey, you. No, seriously, man. Isn't this the first time an in, interspecies in baby has been created? <laughs> yeah, that's right, Jay. Yeah. Did I say well, that? I'm a monkey. Did I, I said right up front it was an unlimited source of comedy. <laughs> interspecies. Yes, and I'd split her like fa fa firewood if I had a chance. All right. So, Jay, you know, you're funnier when you blow. Wait a minute. What Blue is, Jay. Right. What does Baba want, a boy or a girl? What are you hoping for? As I, long as it's healthy, boy. No, I really, I really don't care. Yeah, come on. In a way, you kind of have a preference. I, I like boys. You do. You would like a son. I, I like a son How many? first. You know, right. because this won't be the last child. Oh, your geez, oh you're you're have a big family. Oh. No, 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 not, not a big family. Maybe, maybe, maybe like, two or three. Let me ask like you this, uh, Gary. Yeah. Yeah. Who yes, will pick Jay. the nits off the baby's fur? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, if you let a grooming go. Jay, you know, it isn't necessarily true that grooming will be necessary. The baby could take after Mary's That's side true. of the family. The oh, baby come on, be... we all know. Now, let's, is there one among us that doesn't know that the hairy little bastard will be swinging from the chandelier as soon as he makes his appearance? <laughs> <laughs> could be, could be. The baby could be hairy and toothy. Oh, geez. Man. I can't picture Gary as a father, though. I, I told you, this was my worst fear once he got married. Boss really gave me a good ass kicking today, <laughs> baby Bowie. Maybe uh, this is a Bowie can ask Robin how to bathe for uh, ringworm. <laughs> You think the kids will have ringworm? Sure. Well, they'll certainly bite. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> yes, I can just see it now. Picking its ass and opening bananas. <laughs> <laughs> Could be a great day. Uh, yeah, he won't need a pet poos. The baby can just hold on. Right. <laughs> latch on, right. <laughs> so that's exciting. What happened when you told your parents? Were they excited? Very excited. And, and what about Mary's parents? Very excited also. Very excited. Yeah, it's a thrill. Did everyone call each other? Did the parents call each other? And... Did you tell them that you were going to start or was this? a big surprise you just like no it was a surprise we didn't tell anybody we okay. were, we were... It was a surprise to me if in, fact, in fact robin the, the, like about two days after we found out that mary was pregnant robin asked me mm -hmm. when we were starting a family and i had a lion yeah, i know i know i knew someone was going and then on tom there. asked me if mary was pregnant because i had gotten fat he thought that you know it was like oh a, that's a, interesting I put, a, but i lost weight now yeah right he thought i was putting on some sympathy weight so you don't want to have amnio to check the uh mental health of the baby I, I don't know if it's necessary. Mm -hmm. So what happens? What, what do you mean? What if the, uh, you know, not that I want to, you know, I'm not, I don't want oh, this to happen. No, no. But uh, what if the baby comes out retarded and you'll be sorry you didn't get amniocentesis? <laughs> well, we're following doctor's orders. You really are. Instead of Howard's orders. The doctor says it's not necessary. That's correct. All right. Okay. <laughs> hey, even if the baby's retarded, it'll still be smarter than Gary. <laughs> so... It don't matter. You know, uh, for work, Gary, you can always buy an organ grinder and the kid can hold the cup. <laughs> oh. 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 You know, I don't know much about parenthood myself, to tell you the truth. Right. But, uh, you never had children, right, Jay? No, but I do know some things that you won't... First of all, Gary won't need babysitters. You just uh, lick the lips and uh, stick it to the wall. <laughs> <laughs> Providing he does look like you and not your beautiful wife, I must say. <laughs> that's right. I have to qualify as uh, That's right. Uh, she wanted to have Gary's baby. Hey, that's what woman amazing. wanted? She wanted that baby. <laughs> really bad, huh? Yeah. Yeah. And what did she do? Did she, uh... <laughs> did you guys do all those funny positions? To have a boy? No, no, no. It, it was... you, you, you do it from behind. That's how you <laughs> do it. I gotta tell you, it was... We just... Did you do it from behind? No. You did didn't. she make any special preparations? That's exactly what happened. Did she wear socks? We talked about... We talked about having a kid, and, you know, a lot of people, you know, a lot of friends have been trying to have a kid, you know, four months, six months, a year. Right. Yeah. So we said, oh, we'll just try and see what happens. Right. You're very fertile. And then it happened. Right. Hmm. So nothing, nothing special was done. No. Just the stuff. None of that stuff. Yeah. Yeah. It wasn't necessary. They weren't having problems. But, but I just wondered if, you know, since they were, you know, like that she no, started we, watching. We picked well, Mary I, tried, I tried to have a boy. Yeah. So I had to do special preparations. My wife had to uh, douche with vinegar. I was going to see the douching and all that. Yeah, well, it depends what you want. If you want a, a boy, you have to create a, um, a, a hostile uh, environment. Acidic or uh, the maybe, other way around? Maybe it was a baking soda douche. Which douche was it? <laughs> vinegar or all baking them, soda? All of them are gross. <laughs> right. Well, Gary, if you have a boy, you're fired. <laughs> Why? Because I didn't have a son. 
Well, and he you doesn't know, want you having right. I get this, this is what my thinking is. Come from a long line of boys. There's three boys in my family. It's like there's, the more penetration you get, mm. the more odds of having a boy. I never could get that penetration. You could hardly get in there. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I wouldn't say hardly. <laughs> you ever think of artificial I, insemination? No, I'm against that. I don't. That's against my whole belief system. So I don't, you wouldn't do the turkey baster no. for a boy. And I could have done a whole thing. Um, I could have done a thing where they they took Thin. centrifuge my my sperm, and then therefore I would have had a better odds of having a boy. But I said, you know, I don't care. That's not going to go that far. I'm not going to. I'm not going to let medical science tamper with my sperm. Uh huh. But uh, I knew because of my small size that I would not be able to penetrate douche to create the to make up for my lack of uh, length. Uh. In fact, I'm lucky I didn't have a midget. I was really afraid that I talked to the doctor. He said if it goes by length, I could very possibly give birth to a midget. <laughs> but, <laughs> excuse me, son. Gee, <laughs> it's a beautiful boy midget. <laughs> I have a question. Uh, yes, sir, Tom. Tom Chisano, our I general manager. Who... My congratulations. Thank you, Tom. Congratulations. Yeah. I, I did ask the question about the, if he was putting sympathy weight on a couple weeks ago. Yes, you did. But as my wife's putting weight on, I'm losing it now. Right. So, Tom, when Gary comes to you next year and says he needs a raise, and you because say... Because he has a family. Seven percent. I'm sorry, Gary. Do you think he'll be more sympathetic now that he has a child? I didn't ask him to... Have a baby. Right. That's right. It's not his business. This year, uh, consistent. That's right. <laughs> hey, maybe Tom will be invited to the christening since he was invited to the wedding. <laughs> the, the list starts at C, and Tom's first on it. <laughs> How much of a tactical error was that not inviting Tom to your wedding? You know, I was just—I got to tell you—I was just thinking yesterday. Woof. How long it had been since you had brought it up. I don't I know. know why. But it's, I said, you know, Howard. Why didn't you invite Tom, I, I said, your boss, I said, to the, to I the said wedding? Myself, you know, Howard sort of laid off that. How the one thing it? you do when you have a wedding he is got you use the date, it. The premises and then he right. forgot the boss. I, you, you, seriously, <laughs> the, the guy you have to go ask for a raise every year, what better stroke than to have him at your wedding and make him part of the family? That's right. It That's was right. such a tactical error. That it's been agreed and apologized for I many times. I think Gary was thinking, hey, wait a second. I want this to just be friends and Tom's no friend of mine. <laughs> That's not true. Well, the wine. Although your close friend Richard Simmons was invited, a guy you see every day. He's a close friend of my parents. Or his other close friend, Dominic. About... This is how many years ago? Uh, yeah, yeah, Dominic. No, I wasn't hurt. But Richard Simmons, is, <laughs> Richard, Simmons is a clo Richard Simmons doesn't even talk to you anymore. Uh, I know. Tom knows the whole well, there's, 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 no, there's, there's two or three people that were invited to our wedding on both ends that we haven't spoken to any longer. But you uh. can't predict. And that Tom that's going to happen. He's still speaking to you. Yeah, and Tom's still remembering that he wasn't invited. <laughs> right. No, he's not remembering it. You're remembering it. No, why is it that the guy that you have to go ask it for a raise every year, why wouldn't you invite him? I mean, that's such a schmooze occasion. And who cares if Tom's sitting Can there? Can we celebrate the birth you of You make sure son? he's there before anybody <laughs> else. else. I'm born no, but I mean, what, you know, and what scares me is you're the guy who's supposed to be thinking for me. We're celebrating life here, and you're bringing... And you couldn't even plan a wedding. Death all over this thing. Oh, man. A big cloud. He's <laughs> also the guy that writes the recommendation when he has to go to his next right. job. When you leave right. right, right, because it, I'm certainly not going to be involved. That's right. <laughs> or he might be the guy you have to go to and say, "Hey, uh, Tom, now that Howard's leaving, is there a place here for me?" Right. Yeah. I'd make Tom the godfather of my child. <laughs> <laughs> he's Catholic. He's, he's certainly uh, able to. Qualified. Absolutely. Qualified. Catholic, a very important religion. Yeah. Already, that is to us. Already Absolutely. To other kids. That's right. Yeah, because if anything happens to us, actually, Tom could provide a pretty good home. Tom, Tom is really religious. Tom, you're a very religious Catholic, right? Um, no, I'm not a very religious Catholic, but I mean, I go to church. I always thought uh, religion was interesting, how guys get very attached to it. Yeah. And it's, to me, it's almost like, well, I worship a green stone, and you worship a white stone, but my religion is better. Right, the white stone really works. Yeah, the white stone, the white stone works. <laughs> if you worship that statue, it really works. But you you're all screwed up because you got the wrong stone. I'm very anti-religion. I'm yeah, very... I don't so think one, anybody's is better than the others. Oh, come on. Of course you do. Then why wouldn't really you not. just celebrate them all? Then why, then why, because then why pray? Because this was the way I was born. You know, I was brought up. Yeah. This is what I was taught. And, uh, yeah, but what, you have to believe everything you're taught? They also used to teach that the world was flat. You think there was a Jesus? <laughs> Tom, you think there was... Not? Tom, deep down inside, do you think there was a Jesus? Be honest. 
Do I think there's yeah. a Jesus? Do you think there's yeah. a difference between Santa Claus and Jesus? <laughs> yeah, I think you do. Santa you think Santa Claus is made up and Jesus was real? <laughs> yeah. 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 And what about the Easter Bunny? You think no, the Easter Bunny's fake? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Easter Bunny is fake. There's no shroud of Easter Bunny. Okay. You see the shroud of the shroud. Oh, the shroud. You think that that's true? There's historical proof that Jesus existed on this earth. Based on the shroud of Turin, the shroud of Turin was proved to be a fake. Yeah, fine. Yeah, the shroud of Turin was not only a fake, but never mind the shroud of Turin. Turan. I'm a Turan. Tourette. Tourette. The shout of Tourette. Did you say Turan? Yes. Oh. That, that was, you know, all that was was a rotten hunk of cloth they found. Yes. That kind of looked like a guy. I mean, let's be honest. It looked like cartoon art. That's why he believed it. You're telling me, in your mind, Santa Claus is a fake. Yes. And Jesus is a real guy. Yeah, I'd say so. Okay. No. You don't see that? Isn't there? His, isn't there? Oh, his, I, I think they're equal. No. <laughs> There's some history. Of course they're equal. That, uh, How come nobody wrote a huge book, which yeah. I don't, which I'm yeah. not crazy about, but right. a huge giant book that Jesus existed on this earth? You don't consider the Bible. Do you know L. Ron Hubbard? History? You know L. Ron Hubbard is? Yes. Who was he? He was some guy who wrote some books and he was a science fiction writer. You know, he's God now, too. Give it 2,000 years. Give it 2,000 years, and he's God. There you go. And you'll be praying to that book. <laughs> I just, I don't get it. It's just like, and it basically but comes down practice. to. But you practice. I don't want to hear from you either. No, I don't. I really don't. Oh yes. You don't you go. Do. To, you don't go to wherever it is. I don't go? go to services. You no? do. No. You do. I don't. Well, don't you go sometimes because your family sort of right. like your don't mother and you father? I will go to make them happen. Right. See? Your daughter, your daughter's you do the bus mitzvah, right? Yes, I will do that. Okay. okay. And, and of course, my wife rejects the Catholic side of my life. <laughs> <laughs> and only uh, oh, my wife is a Jewess, so she. Uh, <laughs> So how can you complain? I told my wife I was against any kind of religious training for the kids. And she said, why? She, because it makes them part of the community and all that kind of stuff. I said, look. I said, personally, I think it's a big waste of time. I'd rather they take karate. No. Instead of going to religious classes, I'd rather they take karate and learn how to defend themselves. <laughs> so if your kids came home and said they wanted to be Buddhist, that they learned in karate class, that would be no problem for you. Excuse me? If your kids went to like karate class and somehow learned Buddhism, right. Buddhism. and they said that's what if they want to be. If they're that be. gullible that they think a big fat green statue is God, then, then, then I'll, I'll disown them. How's that? How's that? If my kids are that much of a, a dupes. That's like these wanderers that uh, in Boston, in Kenmore Square, wander around the, and the Scientologists pick them off the street and take them in and they turn them into Scientologists. I said, if my kids are that much of a dupe. Yeah, one one meeting with a movie, and they're all of a sudden got a new god. They feed them rice to make them dull. That's it. But if, but if it gives you something to focus a spiritual side on, there's nothing wrong with it. Yes, there is. There's something fundamentally wrong with it, and I'll tell you what it is. It sets people apart. It says, wait a second, my real, my statue of Mary is better than your statue of Moses. Wait, well, if it does that, you're or right. Buddha. If it does that, you're right. But it shouldn't. If it, it does. It shouldn't. I think, I think all people... Well, it shouldn't. Wars have been based on this, Tom. No, you're absolutely right. I think people <laughs> should just... More wars of religion than probably absolutely. anything else in history. Yeah, yeah so people should just focus on money or something. Something good. Something that they, you know, makes sense when you fight. My dollar's worth more than your dollar? Oh, no, dollars are equal. What is it, Jay? Yes, for myself, I uh, worship the ratings. If Jesus got me a six share, I'd be a Christian. <laughs> there you go, Jay. Well, you'll beat Letterman next like, someday. That's worship. That's right. You keep working blue like that, and I think you're Tell ready to go. Let me ask Gary something now that I've got him here in the interview situation. Mm -hmm. <laughs> will be, uh... He has Jay. He's my new guest. Right. Yes, now Gary will be uh, using a pediatrician or a veterinarian. <laughs> <laughs> with the new baby? Uh, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. have to go with pediatrician. Now, there where you are go. you going to find a baby carriage with a cage in it? Is that available <laughs> uh, in New York? <laughs> well, the big news that uh, Gary is going to be a father in six right? months yes. is very, very yes. exciting. I've got a new name for the kid? Yes. Simeon. I mean, uh. I mean, Simon. <laughs> Simon. <laughs> well, that's very exciting. That's very exciting. Mary. I wonder if the baby will have Gary's jawline with the lips and teeth. Hopefully or, not. Or hopefully Mary's. Zippy Delavante. <laughs> <laughs> Chuckles. Oh, no. I'm hoping that, uh, that... Anyway, so you guys, you guys are that sort of entrenched in religion that I'm you not, believe I, that Santa Claus is a fake. I never go to church and I No I'm no not, but I'm saying But that you, you will be christening the baby and that's Well, right. that's my wife's idea. Oh. <laughs> I always blame the wives you guys. No, I mean I I'm not I'm not very here. I could go either way on it. I'm not very very religious. But I do believe that Jesus existed. I don't you know do? if I believe the Catholic Jesus existed. I don't believe any of these guys existed. You don't believe what? Moses was no, around there? No, don't believe it. Uh, what's that other guy's Muhammad. name? What about Mohammed? Uh, Mohammed, I believe, was baby. around. Okay. <laughs> no, of course not. I don't believe any of these guys were around. Abraham. You know that the Hare Krishnas... You think they made that history up? Yeah. Of course. 
Of course, it's a fairy Abraham tale. Abraham didn't take his baby up Doesn't on a work. mountain and, and no. try to kill it. No, no, no you, you know what? <laughs> you ever see? You know how prolific Stephen King is. He's yeah. one of the great writers of our time. This guy comes out with a book. He comes out with so many books. He gives himself a different name so he can come out with even more books. It's like fairy tales. They're, they're they're fables based on keeping people in line. So well, how did they become yeah, these books that everybody would pay attention to? Well, they would be like they, they would tell stories. The right. the storyteller in the town would tell these stories, and like someone wrote them tell. down. Aesop's fables. Like Aesop's right. fables. Yeah. Parables. Parables. Yeah. Thank mm -hmm. you. But uh, that's what would happen, and then you'd keep reading these stories over and over again, and people sort of praying to a book and stuff. That's all. Ha that's how religion happened. Is there a God? There's a. Oh, I don't want to hear from you. There is a... You're wimping out already. There is a... Um, a magnet in the sky. A magnet. A magnet. <laughs> Robert, do you believe in God? Do I believe in God? I believe that there's some order to the universe. Oh, That's cool. what I believe. I pray to the order of the universe. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, that's what's going on. When people get—I mean, when you see the cardinal come out in that big giant purple hat. Well, guys like him are more terminal. Well, you know, if there was yeah. a god, why would the pope fall in his bathtub? Right, Tom. <laughs> what? So what has that got to do with religion? It that would never happen. He would be the most, the most blessed man never to fall. You know that like some of the cardinals have been calling for politicians who are uh, pro-abortion. They've been calling for them if they're Catholic to be excommunicated. Yeah, yeah. I think it's, it's weird. It's a joke. Everything's screwy. Hey, where's the Ku Klux Klan message? I don't know. It's up and waiting to be played. Is it? All right, let's take a break. Well, that's exciting news. Congratulations, Congratulations Gary. Gary. Thank you to Gary Delabate. I can't believe he sat on yep. that information. Just think the name Delabate will continue. I'm sure the KKK guy is probably Christian and very religious. Yeah. Sure. You know. Sure. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he talks about God. He's always quoting from the Bible. But he, uh, he, hates, he hates Santa Claus. He's on my side. He loves Leviticus. Yeah. That's right. Well, anyway. Leviticus is what he calls it. <laughs> Leviticus. And do to run to me. <laughs> Let's take a break. Very exciting news. Uh, I have to make sure that Gary works for the year till the year two thousand. So yeah, that, I guess you're working, huh? So he can support his child. <laughs> Seriously, Tom, what would you if if I left the radio station? Let's right. say, I know what my job would be. I've already thought about this. Oh, uh, but would you hire Gary? Yes, and I'll tell you exactly why. Why? Oh. Because somebody has to be in charge of the archive of Howard Stern, right? And running those tapes while you're gone for the <laughs> rest of your life. But you can't. Can't run them without my permission. Oh, I didn't know that. See, in, there, in that there. case, then you'll have to hire me so I can archive those he, things. He wants to stay in guard at the archive. You know what you can do? You can pull records for Allison Steele. Oh. I could do that. <laughs> can Gary do that, Tom? What does that pay? I that pays nothing. That pays zero. <laughs> what would he do around here if I left? You would have to let him go, right? I don't know. But yeah. be honest. I, honestly? Yeah. I mean, I don't... If you weren't here, it'd be, would there be a job for... Probably not. Right. Oh. <laughs> hey, the guy's honest with you. You might as well start making a resume on your new computer. <laughs> well, my wife has a talent, luckily. Yeah. That I don't have. She looks at you and doesn't throw up. <laughs> That's very good talent. That's big talent. That's a good talent. No, no. Of course she does. You're going to be fine. You're going to be fine. Listen, so you'll be a house husband. That's all. No shame yeah, in that. You can go work. I can think You'll do woman's work while your wife goes out and earns. I don't think there's anything about that to be ashamed of. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> no, it's not. It's not uh, too shameful to be a house husband. Well, you know, you know, he is part owner in a car. That's right. That's right. You can drive that. And you know that uh, since I don't work the you know standard nine to five hours, you know, usually leave here around two thirty or so. At three o'clock, you know, I'll be able to pick the baby up from daycare. Right. And I'll be able to spend some quality time with the child. Right. And influence it. Oh, dear. Mary, you want spaghetti again for dinner? <laughs> <laughs> Honey, could you stop at the store and pick up some ground beef? <laughs> On your way home from work, would you like Floppy Joe or beefaroni? <laughs> all right, let's take a break. It's all very exciting. It's a whole new situation. And I Baba told you Louie. he was doing this. So your wife's not going to be able to work. She's going to have to stay home with the baby. Well, she's not going to work, obviously, while she has a baby, but she can do work out of the house, and she can work a couple of days. How's she going to do that? On a computer, via a modem. Yeah, but how, someone's going to watch the kid. You think a kid just stays? You, you right. have no well, clue what you're in for. Very as Jay said, the baby will come with a cage. Yeah. <laughs> and that's how Mary will work. What do you think? Like the baby will sleep she's, for like four or five hours? She's going to work a couple of days a week, and we're going to, you know, provide care. You're going to get a housekeeper? No, not a, no, no, not not. What, what do you get, one of those babysitters that, like, uh, takes your kid and smacks it around while you're not looking? You're looking for that girl who took care of the baby up in Westchester. Yeah. <laughs> yeah.
Well, so course, the Delabate fortune just reduced by 50%. Easily. Yeah. Easily. You can drug that kid and it'll be uh, manageable. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Jay. Let me ask you something, Gary. Will the baby arrive by stork or by chimp, this little bundle of joy? <laughs> All right. Let's take a break. Gary obviously hasn't thought this through. No, we thought it through fine. Yeah. All right. I don't think it was a rational. And we found a house we like this weekend as well. Yeah, and now that you have two apartments you can't sell, that'll be very good. <laughs> Just one. Yeah. He's renting the other. Hey, if bankrupt. anybody wants to buy an apartment, I have an apartment available. Well, there you go. Let him advertise it. He's in bad shape. 73rd in Amsterdam. Great right. location. Right. Call the station here at 212-750-0550. You're that desperate, huh? Uh, what do you say in the ad in big letters? Must sell. Right. Well, a little like... haggle. <laughs> he finally found a house he likes, but he bought that other apartment that he's got. Now he's got and now he's got a kid coming. He's a mess. Well, who knew that, you know, when you, You're a mess. when you buy those things, when you buy those apartments, who knew that real estate values would go down? <laughs> Just about everyone but you. Uh, that's <laughs> not true. That's not true. All right, let's uh, take a... Uh, wait a second. Wait a second. name to Hindenburg <laughs> right now. Let me ask you Gary something. Hindenburg Delabate. Let me ask you something right now, Jackie and Howard. Okay. Are your houses worth today what they were worth five years ago? Well, uh, considering that my house wasn't worth anything five years ago, I just bought the property. Well, four years ago or three years ago, whatever. No, the real estate values are the same, but I'm not in a position where I have to sell. Right. You are. You were yeah, thinking of having a family, you were married. Why'd you buy an apartment? No, no, I bought that apartment long before I even met my wife. Oh, really? I was single. You I... bought... What did you need to buy an apartment for? I thought it would be a good investment. All right, listen. <laughs> All right, we're going to take a break. <laughs> 73rd in Amsterdam, great location. All right, we'll take... Sugar Ray Leonard's on the phone. Oh, okay, let me take a break oh, and we'll Sugar be Ray back. Sugar Ray Leonard's on the phone. Yeah, we'll be back right after these uh, words with Sugar Ray.